Yeah. All right, everybody. What is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And that's it, fellas. Just like that, the COD World War II beta has concluded. And man, the range of emotions your boy went through during this beta went from liking the game to hate. Well, first I hated it, then I liked it, then I hated it again, then I then I really started liking it. I was all over the place in this beta, man. Ooh, look at the crit. Man, the hit detection has been tuned, it looks like. Because when I first played this game, uh oh, get smacked. I can't say it, but get smack. Uh, <laughs> when I first played this beta, man, the hit detection was all over the place, wicked and consistent. Now it's crispy, man. It looks like all 60 hertz have finally arrived to this beta. I think when we first played the beta, we got like 5 hertz. Now we're at 60. I mean, look at this. Look at the hit detection. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yo, fellas, I, I think Sledgehammer Games... I, I, I think Sledgehammer Games might have hit the mark on this one, boys. And BAM, son! Get on with the glide bomb kill. Does such hammer games actually make a good Call of Duty? Let's get into it, fellas. Alright, everybody. So we go from the trenches of Duhach to the cluster of bombed out, busted up buildings and camping spots known as Aachen. And look at that, man. That is sick. The flyover, dropping the bombs. That, I mean, every single map has something like that on it. The intros to these maps are amazing. That's one of the coolest new features I've seen in Call of Duty this year. I mean, the intros just get you hyped to fight. Uh, they replace the cool voice acting with just like the flyovers and the bombs and all the other stuff. It's just really, really cool. And I'm using this STG, fellas. Now, I used the Thompson in the beginning. And unfortunately, I didn't really get a lot of playtime with it, but the few matches I did play with it, I loved it. But the gun I've been leaning on a lot in this beta, you're looking at it right here, fellas, the STG-44. And I've been using it with extended mags, rapid fire, and look at this. I couldn't move, though. There's still The movement is still off in this game. Like, when I aim down sight, even though I have Stalker, I couldn't move. I don't know what it is about this gun, but it feels like an LMG, man. Did anyone else agree with me? I mean, the gun, it's, the game still feels a little off. It still needs to be tuned more. But from the start of this beta to where it ended here today in weekend two of the beta, huge difference. This is how important beta testing is. I mean, if you compare this game when it first dropped, the funky hit detection all over the place. I mean, look, look at me. Look at the two-piece right there. Just melting people. I mean, you can't even compare, dude. It was, it's such a huge improvement. I'm having way more fun playing this game right now than I was in the first uh, couple days of the beta dropped in weekend one. I don't know what they did, but they, like I said, man, they tuned the hit detection. I mean, look at that. Look how, look how quick I'm dropping people now. It looks like they tuned the time to kill, too. Uh, I mean, it's just amazing, man. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. And guys, I will actually recommend... Where is this dude at? I, I can't tell. Where is he? Everyone looks the same, dude. Everyone, less, <laughs> everyone looks the same. I hate it, man. I hate it. <laughs> oh, in COD 4, I never really had a problem distinguishing, you know, who's a friend and who's a foe. And in Black Ops 3, I play free for all, so I just shoot at everybody. But I don't know if it's just my eyes went on me, because, you know, your boy's up there in age. But <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but everyone looks the same, man. I don't know. Oh, look at these dudes back here. I mean, this map is huge, man. There's so many places to hide. You guys are going to see. I actually found some dudes in some spots I didn't even know you could go. I'm just trying to look like right now, like, where are these guys at? Like, that building in front of me with the green awning and the and the two green doors, you could even go in there. I thought that was, like, out of bounds. But, like, everything on this map is pretty much fair play you could go into. And it's just a big old game of hide-and-seek. Come on, son, get... Ooh, I mean, even with Stalker, you see how slow I was moving there when I tried to strafe. They, they got to tune that a little bit more, man. Stalker needs to be buffed a little bit more. Now, they buffed... The ADS out of sprint time, which was huge. That was the biggest buff and the best improvement that they made in this beta. Because, man, rushing around and just getting mowed down by campers because you can't ADS out of sprint fast enough. Oh, and that bouncing Betty saved my life, son. Ooh, that was a very well-placed bouncing Betty right there. I, was, I think I'm like one or two off my paratrooper squad, too. But the sprint out of ADS time was an amazing buff. Now they need to buff Stalker a little bit more. There you go. Pick up the Paratrooper Squad. Paratrooper Squad. Come on in. And they buffed the Paratrooper Squad, guys. You guys are going to see the Paratroopers actually get a few kills here. The glorified mall security team is gone. I got SEAL Team 6 coming in now, baby. 
Go out there and put in some work. I love that you can shoot the care package parachute and make it come down faster, too. That is awesome. Screaming Eagles putting in work. Pick up the glide bomb. And this is such a cool streak. Look at this, man. Look at this. This just... <laughs> I love it. Didn't get a kill, but whatever. I mean, it's just such a cool streak. Uh, I'm on a 15 kill streak right now, fellas. The Ruthless. And there you go, man. See, once you get the hang of this map and you just learn where everyone pops their head in, you guys are going to dominate on here. You just got to get a feel for where everyone likes to hide. Once you know where everyone likes to hide on this map, I think you guys will be doing a lot better. When I first played on this map, dude, I completely hated it just because I didn't know where all the camping spots were and the head glitch spots and people were smoking me. But, you know, during a beta, you play the same maps over and over and over again. <laughs> you play the same map. Oh, the 20 streaks, son. Pick <laughs> Picking up the Relentless. Play the same maps enough, and you're going to learn everything about them. And, ooh, man, it gets smoked. I still think this is the worst map out of the four, but it's definitely growing on me, just like the rest of this game. And, I mean, look right here. I couldn't strafe, dude. So annoying. So look, I'm just knifing the air right now. It's so annoying. I hate that you can't strafe. I've got Stalker on, dude. I should be able to strafe, man. They need to buff strafe. Big time. They are stalker, whatever you want to call it. It needs to be buffed because it is just, I don't know. Like I said, it feels like I'm using an LMG when I'm using this uh, STG, the assault rifle. And, ooh, double paratrooper squad, come on in. The double paratrooper gameplay. I should have got my paratroopers anyway. There's no way the strafe should be that bad with the assault rifles. There's no way the strafe should be that slow. It's like when I ADS at somebody, it's like I'm stuck in quicksand, man. It should not be like that. But anyway, fellas, despite the, the you know, few flaws this game has here and there, uh, the strafe needs to be buffed. Uh, I think the snipers are still way too overpowered. And believe me, I could have sat here and uploaded like 50 BS sniper death clips, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to end the beta on a positive note. I figured I'll upload a good gameplay for you guys instead of just sitting here crying and complaining about the snipers. Oh, speaking of which, look out, son. <laughs> oh, look out, son. Oh, get on, baby. Oh, uh, so I'm quickly back on the bloodthirsty streak again. And look where all these dudes are at. I'm like, where are these guys? Now, I didn't even know, but you can see a guy's head in the window. I missed it. He's shooting at me. I'm like, where am I being shot from? i like, I thought that dude was hacking. Like, I didn't know you could... <laughs> these dudes are all camping in the back uh, buildings back here. And I don't know if these back buildings should be fair play to be able to go into. Because it just makes the map even more campy. Because the, the main... The main area of the map is campy and head glitchy enough. We don't need buildings on the outsides of the map people could go and camp into. I mean, these games will take forever, man. <laughs> these games will take way too long. Look at them. They're all back there. Back behind the bunkers. Look, look. you can see his little head in that window up there. I was like... And at first, I was like, that can't be a person. Like, I saw the little helmet up there. I'm like, it's going to be a mannequin or something. But it's actually a player. You'll see. I'll end up cleaning them up later. But, <laughs> alright fellas, so I'm loving this STG. Uh, what was your favorite weapon in the beta? Put it down in the comment section. Uh, now, I, just because I'm saying I'm loving the STG doesn't mean I want to see it nerfed. Okay? <laughs> just because I said the Thompson is good. That's the first thing you see when people come on here and talk about how good a weapon is. Everybody wants to try and nerf it. Like, why? You, you need these weapons to be good to compete with these snipers, man. And, ooh, get another bounce of Betty Killer. Dude, way off in the distance right there. Slay his butt. And you got to watch out with these snipers, man. You got... Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, a sniper missed me. That's incredible. And see, there he is. Oh, another sniper missed. That's how you know these guys are bad. If these guys are missing with snipers, they're terrible. He finally gets me. There you go. He, I mean, dude, it's really hard to miss someone with snipers in this game. If you're playing people that actually miss, <laughs> you know they're straight garbage. So <laughs> got a good lobby right here, fellas. Called in the care package again. And come on in, care package. What do we got? What is beeping on this thing? Something's beeping on this care package. It's like, oh my god, the mortar strike. This thing is trash. This is the worst streak. It's honestly the worst streak in the game. I don't think I've ever... I, look, not even a hit marker. <laughs> Yo, the mortar team is garbage. They need to buff that severely. The mortar team is easily the worst. Like I said, if you put that in ghosts, it would be the worst streak in ghosts. That's how bad it is. And oh yeah, watch this, fellas. Classic example of why you need extended mags. Did I tell you guys the setup I'm using? I showed you the picture in the beginning, but I'm using extended mags, rapid fire, and grip with Gunslinger. And that's why my weapon is always up. Gunslinger is nice for guys who are on the move because you could just shoot while running. You know what I'm saying? It just it helps you win gunfights. Gunslinger helps you win gunfights, guys. That's why I'm running it. It's probably the best uh, basic skill to use if you're uh, running and gunning. And 
I'm looking for guys to run and gun right now. Where's one? Oh, see, there's this dude right here because my weapon was already up. I won the gunfight, and I just need one more kill for the... Ow! Oh, I need one more kill for the 40 bomb, but that dude... <laughs> that dude killed... That dude took him from me. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I was so close. You guys know how much I hate getting 39 kill TDMs. <laughs> But anyway, had a lot of fun in this beta, guys. The final verdict is, this game is good! Sledgehammer! <laughs> you did it! Congratulations, Sledgehammer, you did it! I actually recommend buying this game, fellas. Like I said, the multiplayer, it's come a long way. It's actually fun now. And I think zombies is going to be amazing in this game. So, between the multiplayer being good, the zombies being good, I'm sure the campaign will be good. I definitely give this game two thumbs up, man. And like I said, I'm not a COD VIP. These dudes definitely didn't invite your boy anywhere. I'm just telling you guys right now, I think this game is going to be fun. I mean, I'm having fun right now in the beta, playing against beta sweats. You know what's going to happen when the regular game drops? And yeah, we're going up against just casual COD players. It's going to be amazing. This game's going to be a lot of fun. So, Sledgehammer, you actually did it. Uh, I, I, like I said, man, how can anyone mess up a World War II Call of Duty? You can't do it. It's almost impossible. It looked a little rocky at first, but... Sledgehammer, you guys did it. I'm definitely buying this game in November, guys. I'm looking forward to it. And I think it's going to be a fun year. Between this game and Destiny 2, I think the content is going to be lit on this channel, baby. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway. All right, guys. That's all I got. If you enjoyed this gameplay commentary. And also, if you uh, wound up liking this beta 2 after initially hating it, let me know. Drop it down in the comment section. This game definitely grew on me. And I'm sure it grew on a lot of you guys, too. I mean, I, I wound up having a lot of fun. So looking forward to November. Sledgehammer, nicely done. All right, fellas, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I'm out.